Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Well, we're getting closer and closer to winter here in New England, guys, and uh, kind of slowing down a little bit on the helicopter stuff, but I have something here that I've done in the past, and the video actually did pretty good because I know a lot of people are into phones now. Uh, so I'm not going to do a video on this phone because there's tons of guys out there with channels that that's their specialty, but I'm going to do one on some cases, and uh, I did one years ago, and it did pretty good, so I think people will enjoy this video. So we got two of these Galaxy Z Fold phones. I wanted them for a while, but first generation had a little bit of glitches and issues, so I waited for the third generation, and AT&T offered a super deal on these so we couldn't pass them up so anyways i want to show you uh when we were first looking for cases for these it was a little rough uh there wasn't many made yet so we got whatever we could and then we upgraded as we went along for anybody wondering uh the z fold phone did come with factory screen protectors on the front screen here and when you open it up, the main screen, okay? Uh, I had called Samsung and actually asked them that. They have a 1-800 number. We actually didn't know that when we bought them, and I actually put other screen protectors on top of those. So they got two screen protectors, and I used the white stone dome screen protectors. They give you one for the front, one for the back of the phone, and then one for the main screen. So you get three of them and everything to install them, like $12 on uh, Amazon. I've used those in the past. I've done videos on White Stone. I think they're the, the best ones out there. Uh, so anyway, so the first cases that we got were some, uh, some real uh, cheapies, which actually aren't that bad from Amazon. I'll show these to you. And I had two of them. Okay, and these were, uh, has a magnetic clasp, which actually the, the Samsung version that I don't even think is available yet doesn't have, so people were complaining about that. Has the little uh, openings for the, uh, the speaker microphone, and a little hand thing you can put on or take off. So this was the first one. The phone actually snaps into there pretty nicely, and it gives you a little slot for... Uh, um, credit cards or a license or whatever and then it just shuts and it has a magnetic not a bad case for ten eleven dollars on on Amazon made in China obviously but I would say it's just as good as the the uh, Samsung eighty dollar one from what I've heard and seen uh, all the holes for everything lined up right snapped right in there it was locked in nice okay but you always think about drop protection and all that. So the next one we got was made by uh, Galaxy, uh, well, for the Galaxy Z Fold, obviously. Um, so we got a couple of these, the VRS design. First time I ever used VRS. And this one, <clears throat> it's got the frame. It goes on the front okay it's raised up as I'll show you on on the on the phone so a lot of protection gives you an instruction manual and it gives you a bunch of these they look like uh, they look like little piano keys <laughs> okay these are stickers that are optional okay that you can actually uh, used to help adhere the case, the cases to the phone. It's not like gluing it on. It's people were complaining. It's not going to damage anything. It's up to you whether you want to use them or not. They give you an instruction pamphlet here of how to put them on if you do. Okay. Uh, and like I said, they give you quite a few different sizes. Okay. So the back of that case, um, 
I'll show you here. So this is actually two pieces. Okay, there's actually that can be pulled out. Uh, there's a rubber insert. Okay, this is actually rubber and then this plastic. So this one was the kickstand design one. Okay, it has a little kickstand there like that. And it worked great. You could have the phone when it's just sitting down in that mode or it'll hold it when it's, it's fully open or closed. And this was um, a very nice case. We actually changed them one more time. I'll show you why. So when this case actually goes together, all right, it's a nice case. The kickstand works great. It's a nice feature, but the problem is the hinge was open. Okay, now I've had quite a few phones over the years from an Apple 3G um, uh, to a Apple 4 to 4S, then onto Samsung 3s and 4s and S5s, and then up into the Notes and now to the Z Fold. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to show you. Actually, let me show you this case. So, this was the final case we settled on. This one just became available. Okay, this is the Terra Guard, and this one, if you can see along the side, it covers the hinge. This one actually does have a drop protection test done to it. Okay, the other one obviously doesn't have that because the hinge is exposed, so they couldn't offer that. Okay. Um, but I've always used OtterBox in the past, but OtterBox really dropped the ball on this one. They didn't make a nice case, all right, for this phone, so we went with VRS. So this is the VRS one. I'll show you it in a little bit of detail here, if I can. All right, so this one has like little rubber feet around it all over in the back and that keeps it from sliding around on the table and the camera if you can see there is recessed it has a rubber seal this one has rubber in the back also so the camera is very deep to avoid damage the uh, access to your power and volume Okay, if you can see that everything is black all the time <laughs> uh, but very very nice to get your fingers in there no issues if you can see this too it is raised up pretty high all the way around okay and then it has the hinge protection so now the phone is completely covered and sealed all the way around and this was the one we settled on and I think this is one of the best cases I ever had to date we were always big fans of uh, OtterBox and I'll show you another cool thing quick so this phone you tap it and we got our picture of everybody knows I love Eddie Van Halen rest in peace so you got an outside <clears throat> screen uh, wallpaper, whatever you want to put on there, you know, obviously with other phones. But the option now is you can have two. I made a video one for the inside. And then you can actually pause it. So you can go and do whatever you want to do. And you can make these as long or as short as whatever you want them. And basically what I did was I just went to the, the app store and you get video, this one here, video live wallpaper. And then you go on, you watch, start watching a YouTube video of your choice. Hit the screen recorder button on your phone 
and you can record uh, two seconds, five seconds, 20 seconds, 30, uh, 20 minutes if you want it to play. All right. I don't notice any battery killing on it. And then we obviously want it to play again. You just tap it. Or you can just shut it and it'll shut off. I always pause it because that way when you open it back up, if you're out in a crowd or something, uh, you know, you won't make a bunch of noise. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to share this with you. It's a really cool phone. No issues with it. I've watched videos on it for hours. Stays ice cold. Um, you know, Samsung is... Like the stuff they do. I mean, when I started with cell phones with the little green screens and flip phones, and I mean, it's crazy um, what they come up with. Who the heck would ever think a foldable phone? You know, it, it's unbelievable technology Samsung has. You know, I use all their TVs and everything. And I'm not going to bash Apple. And I had Apple. Apple's a good company too. There's a lot of good companies out there. I'm I'm personally a fan of uh, of Samsung. I haven't had issues with them over the years. I like the fact that they allow expandable memory and everything. Let me show you these quick before we call it a video. I bought these in the mall. Okay. I can show you these. And these were uh, $20. The game test for $15. And I'll show you how these work. These have a... A thing in the back, a loop for a belt, and it has a thing to clip on a belt. Velcro, you can get them with uh, Velcro like this. All right, it has the like spandex on the side. Phone goes in, Velcro, extra protection, padded. If you don't want the phone in your pocket, uh, clip it on. I've actually put this whole thing in my pocket. It fits good. Uh, but your choice. I'll show you the other one. They have different ones, colors, and this one here is, is magnetic. Same thing on the back, same design. And uh, these, uh, I don't know if you can get these, are a company AOKO. -O. We got them in the mall. Uh, I'm sure if you Google it, you might find them online. I'm sure there's a lot of makers of these. <clears throat> but one closing, little closing statement on these. I had a Note 10 Plus, and that was actually very big in my pocket. So if I got up, I couldn't take my leg like this. You know, it would feel like you wanted to break it in half. This one is, is a little bit shorter, but obviously a lot bigger. Uh, so it fits in the pocket really nice, and uh, you can't, I mean, it's, it's obviously a little heavier, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I don't notice it. I mean, I love the, I'll, I don't think I'll ever go back to the other style phones after having a 7-inch, seven 7.inch seven something tablet that opens up. It's just the best of every world possible, so. There you go, guys. That's my little uh, tips and everything. Uh, the VRS's you can buy all those cases uh, other than the mall ones. I'm sure you could get those on Amazon too. So, uh, I think they're around the, the, the one with the kickstand was around $38. The one that has the, uh, the hinge protection was around 58. And then those other ones, the original ones I showed you here, the little magnetic flip ones with the little thing here those were like 11 bucks on amazon so in my opinion the the uh hinge one is the best one out there thanks for watching